Alexander. I'm Alexander Global. I'm here the owner and matchmaker of the matchmaking agency, My Colombian Wife. Our website is mycolombianwife.com. Uh, here we are today with Shirley. Uh, she is uh, 33 years old. And, uh, Shirley, from which city are you from? I am from Barranca Bermeja. Barranca Bermeja? Okay, and this is pretty near to Buco, Bucaramanga. Right, yeah. Okay, uh, what is your profession, uh, Shirley? I am a professional in civil engineering, but I also work as an online English teacher. Okay, okay, online English teacher, okay. So, uh, yeah, you you can speak English fluently? Right, yeah. Okay, that's a huge advantage, I can tell you, yeah. Uh, so, um, can you tell us a little, a little bit about your personality? Okay, um, well, I am a very honest person, like mm -hmm. straightforward. I like to make things clear, like not just trying to be someone else's or what somebody else's want me to be. I try to be always very honest about my thoughts, my beliefs. I am a very open person. I like effective communication, like really say things uh, on time. I am respectful. I am, I am a trustworthy person. Yes. I, I always try to be like better. Like I try to improve from my own expectations. And I like to hear from people like what they think or what are good things to improve, like in general, like on family basis, in with friendships, like relationships. Yeah. I like to work on being better, like in general. I am passionate about family and about my hobbies. Um, like I like working out, um, like being in shape. Uh, I spend quality time with my family. That's super important for me. Um, about my personality, what else? I am an easygoing person. I do not like problems. I am always like on the other side, like trying to solve problems and like avoid avoiding fights, uh, trying to working out on being better, like in any situation. Yes, uh, so you are a pretty balanced person, so emotionally balanced, uh, in harmony with yourself. Um, yeah, I think uh, it's very important what you say, that it's important uh, to look where you can improve, you know, in your own life or where you can grow. So you use the opportunities in daily life to learn and to grow. Yeah, I think exactly. that's the best thing you can do out of the situation, the opportunities, the people enter into your life. Uh, that's that's a huge advantage, you know, if you have that uh, positive perspective yeah, exactly. in life. Uh, yeah, so what, uh, what are your hobbies and interests? What do you like to do in your free time? Yeah. As I said, I really like working out. Like I've been working out for do, about seven years now. Do you go so, to the gym? Do you go yeah, to so the gym to lift uh, weights in the gym? Exactly. I go to the gym every day. I wow. like lifting <laughs> weights or doing CrossFit, like both things. So like, yeah, like working out. Like if I can, I go every day. I really try to go like every day, otherwise like five or six times a week. Okay, that's impressive. Uh, so you are very fit, I I, I imagine very fit. Uh, do you can do you can lift weights? Um, do you lift weights also? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that's that's impressive. So you surely take care uh, also what you are eating, um, doing sports exercises. Uh, yeah, this is surely the reason why you look so attractive, so fit. Yeah. 
So yeah. uh, I think you li uh, live a very healthy lifestyle, you know. Many of our clients, it's important that the lady lives a healthy, active lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah, I really like eating healthy. Like, like I can't say I'm vegetarian because I'm not, but I really okay. like vegetables, like eating well, not fast food all the time or anything like that. You like to prepare your own food, uh, fresh food? Yeah, so, right. Uh, self-made uh, cooking yeah i think that's the uh, that's the best way that's the only way that you can get all the nutrition that you need for your training for the activities yeah. uh yeah so um okay you have said working out sports exercises do you have any other hobbies or interests yeah. well, what you like to do in the free time yeah well in my hometown there isn't like many options or things to do okay but I am somewhere else, like different cities or bigger cities. I yeah. really like like exploring, like going on hikes, uh, like walking, either or like going to new places, like or running or just jogging around. Okay. I really like, like like the outdoors, being outside. Also, so, I like watching Netflix or a movie, you know. Yeah. But so. I, but I you, so is you enjoy hiking or running, uh, walking outside in nature so you can connect with nature? Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, very, very uh, good, good activities. Um, yeah, it, it says a lot, you know, about a person, the, the what you do in the free time. Yeah. OK, um, let's see. Interests, hobbies. Mm. Yeah, um, what? Uh, uh, <laughs> Do you, um, would you be interested in getting to know uh, men who are a little bit older than yourself? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with men who are older than me. Like, I usually don't like men like younger or like too young. But yeah, older is is better. It's fine. They are like more mature. Yes, yes. Uh, we have made the same experience, you know, the, the men a little bit older uh, tend to be more mature, more determined uh, and more mature in the personality and the attitude. And they have the ex life experience, they have the values and yeah, and you know, the clients we are working with, they, they know, um, they, they are determined and have good intentions. Want to find a life partner. Um, let's see. Mm, what do you think is important for you in your search in finding a suitable uh, life partner? Uh, what is important for you? Um, it is very important that he has like, like the basic qualities like good communication and yes. being helpful and, and being a faithful person, like no cheating, no, like honesty is super important here. It's, it's very important having someone who you can trust yeah, when you are yeah. around. You don't have to be like worried about them doing something that they are not supposed to. So trust is super important. Um, quality is like, yeah, like a family oriented person. Like he knows what, like the importance of being in a relationship, in having a family. Um, hopefully someone who likes to work out, like not too much, but someone who likes to be fit, like eat healthy. Like I am not like crazy about working out or crazy about eating, but someone who is like, like he cares. He cares about himself too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's important, of course, uh, that he takes care of himself and also uh, wants to stay healthy. Yeah, yeah uh, I, I think that uh, shows a lot about the personality of this person, the consciousness, uh, the commitment to himself or the, the love to himself, you know. Um, so, um, yeah, I, uh, I can only agree with you, you know, for the basis for the relationship, there really has to be absolute uh, sincerity, absolute transparency and also uh, good communication good understanding is very important so you can have trust with that person 
you can know that you can share anything with, with this person, the feelings, thoughts, ideas, maybe good sense of humor. And you yeah. can have trust then step by step. And then you can have a healthy relationship. So uh, it's important that both you each other as a team, as equal partners, as a team. Yeah, because uh, it's a giving and receiving there. Okay. Giving and receiving, so you have the balance there. Exactly. Yeah, there, there's no one superior or less, but it's a giving and receiving all the time. So this has to do with consciousness and respect. And that's the basis. And then you can have the healthy relationship and the healthy family then. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, is there anything else that you would like to say uh, to, to, to the gentleman who is viewing the video? I also think, um, well, empathy is very important. Like when you care about the other person, just like just not caring about one else, like myself or, you know, like caring how somebody's doing, like how she's doing, how's your day going, like empathy, you know, like in general being an empathetic yeah. person. And well, I also don't like, like guys who drink too much, like alcoholics. Yes. Yeah, alcoholics. Like, I am okay. I am okay with having like a glass of wine, a few, a couple, or a couple of years, like once in a while or once a week. But I, I don't like the the work, like alcoholic, no at all. Like I can't with that. I I cannot deal with like someone who needs to be drunk all the time or drinking like uh, on regular basis, like going to bed drunk. I, I cannot deal with that. Um, yeah, yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, it's impossible, you know, because, um, um, it, yeah, it all starts with oneself. And uh, if the man is loving himself, respecting himself, then he won't um, uh, drink alcohol then, you know, or smoke cigarettes or take drugs yeah. and uh, destroy himself, you know, um, that uh, has to do with the consciousness. Um, what else? Um, is there anything else that you don't like about uh, if you think about a potential man? Is there anything else that you absolutely yeah. do not like? Yeah, I, I don't like like hard drinkers mm -hmm. or okay. drugs. Like no drugs at all, like not even weed. No, I, I don't like that. Like smoke. Like even those who say no, I smoke. I smoke weed once a week just to go to sleep or just for recreation. No, I, I don't do anything of that. I don't like any drugs, any weed, alcohol. Okay, once in a while, no, not just like regularly. Okay. And um, finally, I would like to say that I really like showing affection and like receiving affection like physical affection is important for me so i cannot deal with someone who who never like who is not able to give you a hug or give you a kiss or say good morning good night because i i i had one relationship like that before and i cannot deal with that like affection is important yeah, like sure overly being affectionate that's another thing but just like affection like regular a regular basis yeah like you know sure. like yeah yeah someone. it's it, it's very important like you're saying to appreciate appreciate uh, uh, the other person um mm -hmm. also appreciating maybe a good talk a good conversation where we exchange the thoughts feelings you know there's no no wrong but uh, actually um we Nobody is perfect, so um, you know um, it is um, admiring when people just can talk, express their feelings, talk about anything without any shame. Just talk, and then it's also possible for the other person to understand him. Then, yeah, this yeah. uh, perspective, and so, so this is very important. I know to express f freely, like you're saying it, um, so both can have trust then in each other can have then a healthy relationship. Okay, okay. Um, is there anything else that you would like to mention? No. Okay, okay. Okay, then thank you very much. Um, 
um, surely, okay, for your time and for your attention, okay. I would say let's stay in touch. Um, yeah, okay. I think we will finish the video. Okay.